So we're going to use part of this journey to discover our family history. Yeah. <laughs> More tears. <laughs> so I think you have no idea what's in my heart. And I'm so sorry, everyone. Oh, I don't say sorry. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm going to do window wipers. <laughs> For your glasses. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So just some light night reading before you go to bed. <laughs> oh Sam, that is just so beautiful. Stuart, 
When we left in 56, and people say, Look, what do you remember? And I would say, you know, guys, it was snowy. And I remember my mum and dad, after we got off the train with the board, it was just to say, shh, don't talk, don't talk. And we picked up. And it was just so cold. And then on the other side was, you know, my father had to obviously go in and um, ask for refuge. And it never goes. But now I can come back even just to stand and so I've actually witnessed a part of my life because they had history mm. as their parents had history and we all do. For Sam to say, you know, Mum, my dream one day will be to take you home. And this is the dream. This is a real dream. Is she not here? Oh, Saga. I'm a glad of mama. You should make a good for your glad In Hungary, yeah. men uh, should get only such a present uh, which make uh, uh, happiness for their wife too. Oh. I think the inside is for you. Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> That one. Wow. This is great. This is a great one. Thank you. 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 Jó is nem megjöttem nekem, hogy az időt mindenkivel tudok találkozni, és köszönöm szépen, hogy Thank you very much. 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 Thank you ahogy látod, a család nagy része összegyűlt. És milyen szép is. És hadd mondjam azt, hogy sokat gondolkoztunk, hogy mi az, amivel még emlékezetesebbé tudjuk tenni ezt a szép találkozást. És úgy döntött a család, hogy készítünk egy albumot. És ezt az albumot szeretnénk nektek most átadni. Erre mi állunk benne a család. Köszönöm szépen! Ez a családfa! Oh. Oh.
Du tog min nacka med vårt åtonskämning och min tutta fullar. Jag tutta mot åt. This is Korn Vazir Utsa, number one. And we find this information based on your father's uh, army certificate. Oh, Israel. So and this was I your... Used to fly up on a hill here. Probably because this was your last residential area and address. My God.
meet the family members, but then come to the town and see, you know, this is the home of someone, yes. or this is where your great uncle and your great aunt are, sure. and then now to do a tour with you and learn more about the history yeah. of the area. Yeah. It's really amazing. The roots, the roots. Yeah, the roots. Oh. Yes. It's nice, but still right. strong. Édesanyja, meg az édesapja. És itt volt a 50. házasság évfordulójuk, és azt ünnepeltük. Jó Istenem!
I hope strong jeans, yeah. holding the sign is like being held by the members of the family that have passed. To Arpad. To Arpad. My Isok et Palinka Dwellers. Oh, great. So you've got a chance to eat Oh, 
ceramics, all the beautiful photos, and I'm going to have myself some green goulash. Mm. Uh, 
amikor jöttetek le Pécsre utoljára, akkor arról volt szó, hogy menjünk. Ott Igen. a teher az, hogy menjünk még. És apám meg, totó, apám meg totójázott, közben elmondta egy barátjának, hogy menni akar, az meg följelentette. Úgyhogy amikor Mohácson leszálltunk a buszról, hogy megyünk Jugoszlávia irányába, már vártak. Már vártak. After we left Hungary, yeah, we then lived in Serbia. Yugoslavia, mm -hmm. Serbia, six months, house arrest. Then my father was able to get through Mercedes Benz um, and they took him to or guaranteed him work in Belgium as he was a um, Mercedes Benz. Also. So he was pretty so we went there for two and a half years, weather was not good, especially for my mother, and um, then we came out to Australia. Sometimes I will show you, then you will and understand why I went like, such a lot of people away from Hungary. Who you you, you will see Budapest totally ruined. Csak itt elvittek, azt többet senki nem látta. Not because you want to leave, not at all. I mean, look at this beautiful country. Yeah. My mother cried so many times. Yeah. I knew it piano snap here time for that. This is my maid. Oh, really? Me, me and my uh, brother-in-law. Yes. This is plum. Are you going to have one with us? The driving. Oh, you know. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love to. But it's your special occasion. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Castle. 
Come, come have a close up. go in and you come out and every woman looks beautiful. That's why they call it the Women's Valley. The, the most beautiful, beautiful the ladies. Most beautiful ladies valley. Valley. And in Hungarian, it's a safe and strong word, yeah. yeah. Come join me. Would you like a drop? Something local?
and check out this cave house. So inside, this is the main living quarter. Here's one of the bedrooms. And right in the back room, we can see where they used to keep their livestock and animal. So they got a little room too. Just like our puppies and our cats get a space at home, their animals were loved. Can I see my neighbour in there? Cacao is chiga. Cacao is chiga. My pronunciation needs to certainly get a lot better, but I bet it tastes amazing and I'm going to try it right now. Oh my god. When you see all of that chocolate, uh -huh. chocolate for breakfast again. Hungarians winning. <laughs> Enjoy it. Thank you. That's an M second.
have to <laughs> cook. And she's gonna help me uh, properly pronounce this dish that we have here. Okay, just try it before. It's modar. Modar. Day. Day. Yeah! Which is bird milk. And she's also volunteered. Century 1814 1815, Budapest became three cities became the capital of Budapest and Oboda, which is further up. And the parliament was being that explains some of the history of it and it is huge inside and if only these walls could talk like St. Stephen's Day which is a wonderful festivity and as you can see I'm all dressed up for the occasion but not only do I feel incredibly lucky to be here for the celebration, but I too am now a Modiat because I have my citizenship. That's perfect.
We will be back. I'd like to come back. I'd like my husband to see it. Too. Whether he can or not, I don't know. But I, I made some very good friends, and you know, it may not be next year. It may not be the year after. But I would like to come back. Yeah, and you know, maybe I might even scatter my mum and dad's ashes. I think what made this trip so incredibly special was not only did you have elements of family, but we also had the aspect of being a tourist and having a lot of information and understanding what it would be like as a guest of a country, which I think is important to, to have an experience because whilst we were here visiting relatives, so much time can be taken in that emotional roller coaster but then you don't get to explore the rest of the richness of the country and I think there was this perfect balance between the two. I also loved that there was the variety so to be able to sail and stay overnight in the Balaton, to be able to watch the most glorious fireworks display I have ever seen in my entire life, um, going to my family members homes and then tying that in with new friendships. So Mishi and Zotsi, not, not just guides, but they took us by the hand and by the heart and showed us what this country has to offer both personally and professionally. And that's often a very hard dance to, to balance. So there were, that was a summary of a whole lot of highlights. I'm sorry I couldn't just give one or two, but this will certainly be a trip to remember and I hope that I can honour my mum's family legacy and bring my children here as well. That's my, that's my grand plan. I'll be back again, most definitely. So I'll be talking about a few highlights of my trip to Hungary. Um, I, I'd say first off is my largest highlight is for how beautifully accommodating and accepting all the family have been of Rita. I think it's very easy just to be disconnected from somebody for so long and not have them in your life and to really see that evolve from first meeting which instantly tur turned to embracing you into the family and becoming friends and laughing um, and as part of that highlight is also Rita's ability to communicate in Hungarian. I didn't even know that she could spill and still speak Hungarian. And the fact that she was not only fluent, but you were also fluent enough to be funny, or at least they were laughing, you know. <laughs> I, I think also a highlight is, is that a lot of times that when you meet people in the world and you tell people that you're from Australia, is that they say that they'd love to live there. Or the, um, but I think the difference with Hungary and only a couple of other countries is that they say that they'd like to visit. And so it just shows how patriotic Hungarians are. They are so proud of their culture despite, and, and have remained very traditional despite being under rule and being at the brunt end, the bad end of a number of wars, but they've really tra stayed true to their customs and I think that's very rare in a lot of countries and something that we don't see in Australia so yeah I was I was this trip has been far better than I expected I expected it to be a good trip um, but it was you know Hungary exceeded my expectations so I was really yeah. pledged to come here so, even yeah. on that point about maintaining traditions I walking away and having a starting to think about when I come back to Australia and how I can maintain my lineage, linkage, however you want to say it, how can I instill in my family um, some of these traditions, maintain, you know, mum, we, we will all eventually part this earth one day, yes, so how can absolutely. I ensure that absolutely. my children and their children will be able to have and maintain, you know, maybe 
not necessarily learning the language, but you know, what do we do at Christmas, or how do we have some you know recipes the way that Grandma made it, or little subtle things that mean enough to me and to my children to understand our history and hold on to that. So I think that's a really interesting point. Yeah. And I love the way you said our history. Mm. Welcome to my daughter's oh, side. Yeah, yeah, thank you. My highlight. My highlight from the day I stepped onto Hungarian soil was the beginning of the most amazing journey I have had in two weeks. Leaving 63 years ago was not by choice. Because they try to work out what the becauses are. When I come here, I meet people like yourselves. And that is because you're here for the same reason that I am. I was somewhere else. And let me assure you, my heart will be with you guys, your family, your friends where you've taken us. You have made me feel my home. I have one more thing to add. My sole purpose and my dream was to bring my mother back to her homeland. And I think with both of your help, as well as your Stuart. assistant Stuart and being so supportive, you made my dream come true. So being able to watch my mum speak in her native tongue, to meet her family relatives and to come back home and feel so welcome. Thank you. It's incredible. Thank you. And such a blessing. Thank you. And thank, thank you. you. My dream has come true. Our dream has come true. And I know it wasn't a dream anymore. I will come back and relive this again. Because my daughter said that no message that I was in the world. I mean, because... No more, you have one hour of me, but it will come. I mean, it will come. I mean, it will come. I mean, it will come.